What's up guys, it's your girl Mo Yang and if you guys are interested in how I did this Kim K inspired makeup look, keep on watching. What's up guys, so I wanted to show you guys how I did my makeup the other day. It was turned out really cute, I was helping out my sis-in-law. Go check her out. So right here, I start with my primers, of course. I'll leave everything in the description below. And then I do my eyebrows. I use um, edge control. I couldn't find the edge boost control that my sis told me to get. So I just got this other one that I saw other people were using. And I really like the way edge control um, you know, shapes my eyebrows. Because it makes it look fuller, honestly. And I have really stubborn, coarse eyebrow hairs. And look at me. Zach ended up coming over, if you guys don't know, that's my boyfriend. Um, and I told him I needed to still do this video, so I just told him to hang out. Um, right here, I'm just filling in my eyebrows with this eyeliner, just doing this hair-like strokes. I know I'm not showing you guys. Um, I could probably do a more detailed, you know, tutorial on that later. Um, so right now I'm carving out under my eyebrow, so I can just clean it up a bit. I use a e.l.f. concealer, a really light one. So it just brightens out my brow bone, and I use a little small flat brush to help in that. I don't even know what he said. I'm over here laughing. I'm just probably happy he's there. And then I buff it out with this Real Techniques brush. This is like my f new favorite brush. Anyways, I use this e.l.f. foundation palette, and you guys have probably, if you guys have watched my videos before, seen how I've done my eyebrows. And then I got this putty primer for my eyes. Um, I don't know if I like it just yet. It was like cool for $5, I think, but I don't know. I might have to look for a new one. It, I got like a beigey color. I don't know. But anyways, I have this neutral palette. Um, obviously, I have a description below. I use just these two browns. And they look really light right there. But it shows up pretty dark on my skin. Alright, so because I have hooded eyes, I start way up above my crease. So I'm going to create like this high crease. Even though it looks right under my eyebrow. It Just trust the process, please. So I've learned that with hooded eyes... You have to, especially if you're trying to have a makeup look where you want to see all like the dimensions of the look, you kind of have to go above your crease because with hooded eyes, your crease is pretty deep and there's there's just no point of putting it there because nobody's going to see it. So I go in with a light shade and then I go in the darker shade slightly below where I put the lighter shade. And then I clean up the top part with a really white beige looking color on my brow bone and then i use the same color on my lid and i'll go you'll see that i go a little above my lid this isn't of course a cut crease because i'm just using the powder i'm not you know cutting anything and i've noticed that that's what she does a lot it's like a seamless look it's not too harsh especially if she just does her like natural makeup so i'm lining my eyes here with a black liner and if you guys need me to show you how I put my eyeliner on hooded eyes I can do that too but I'm not gonna go in too depth because it's I don't know I'm just not doing that it's just not the video for it and then after I go in with that little color from Juvia's Palace place I don't know and then I smudge out the liner with it I'm using that same primer under my lid because I have a problem with creasing um, under my eyes when I put product there, so I heard primer is good with that. I know my foundation looks mad dark here. I, mm, yeah, when I was, like, looking at the camera, I was like, oh my god, like, this looks way off, but it's gonna work out. I'm gonna brighten it up. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I will be okay, but I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, two different foundations. I use a little bit more of the dark on accident, but it's all good. I end up saving it, buff it out. Zach probably said something not funny, and I'm still laughing. I'm just kidding, babe. Um, yeah, so I'm using this Real Techniques buffing brush to, you know, 
put it all around, place it all around my face. And then I go in with a beauty sponge after this just because I like the way, I've said it before, I like the way a brush and a beauty blender or beauty sponge looks on skin, you know, for foundation. Then I use my e.l.f. concealers. I use two different ones. I use, they're both medium warm, but they're both slightly different for the hydrating one. It's like a yellow, we yellow like tint to it. And then for the matte one, it's a lot lighter. So I use both. And then I go in with the same foundation palette that I've used before for the e.l.f. And I use it to contour. I use the medium color looking one. And I know Kim K, you know, really draws out her jawline and then also her cheekbones. And then I've noticed that Kim K usually, um, when she carves out her cheekbone, it's a little lower. And I probably could have gone a little lower, but oh well, it's already done. So I'm just blending out everything. I blend out my under eyes because my under eyes can get pretty dry, even though I have combo skin. So I try to get to those first just because it, it's really hard to move the concealer if I just leave it there. So just blending everything out with the beauty sponge. Make sure you're super light so you don't remove product. And then I use the Huda brush to blend out all my contour. I know she's pretty heavy on the contour on her forehead. Um, No shade, it's just what she does. And on her cheekbones because she likes to look snatched and i'm already looking snatched there um appreciate that shout out to my genetics um and you know makeup of course and i usually don't bake like this usually it's a straight line but since she has really defined cheekbones i bring it upwards um so it creates more of a an apple cheeks whatever whatever so then I use blush. I usually use orange blush, but she uses a lot of pinks. So I try to mix pink and orange to get more of like a corally color for me. So it doesn't look too like weird. I just wasn't ready to just use pink. And then of course I have to rehydrate my face with some rose water. And then I set it with this e.l.f. setting spray. It's pretty cool. I think I like the Urban Decay one more, but it's pretty good for the price that it is. Letting it, I'm letting it dry. Yes, I'm contouring my nose. I've already explained how I contoured my nose in previous videos. Then I put on my lashes, a Royal Silk by Kiss. Alright, so this is the finished look. I am... I really like it. I know like sometimes she does put a little bit uh, more uh, color on her waterline and down here more, but um, it makes my eyes look like too small, so um, I didn't want to. I just kind of wanted to skip that and just kind of do the whole brightening thing under her eyes and stuff, but yeah. And I hope you guys like it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!